In this video example, we are asked to subtract 3 and 5 hundredths from 22 and 29 thousandths. First thing you want to make sure you do is line up your place values very nicely and your decimal points. Fill any empty spots with zeros that are on the extremes of the numbers and then get ready to carry out your subtraction starting on the right side of the math problem. So when we are looking at the thousandths place, we have 9 subtract 0. We're left with 9. We run into a little problem when we hit the hundredths place because we say 2 subtract 5 and we run into a little situation that requires us to borrow. So first you go to the tenths place and you try to borrow from that, but there's nothing there to borrow. So you move over to the ones place. And since there's two there, we can take one away. We'll be left one. And we're going to give one to the next column. But since the next column is actually the tenths place, when we give one, we act, it's the same thing as giving ten tenths. Now we finally have something in the tenths place. So the hundredths place is very happy now because he actually uh, can borrow from his friend Mr. Tenths now. So the two is now looking to the ten to borrow something from it. So we'll take a tenth away. We'll be left with nine tenths. And when we give a tenth to the hundredths column, it's the same thing as giving ten hundredths. That's the same thing. So you'll notice those kind of give 10 to the next column. Now you can combine the 2 and the 10 which give you a total of 12 to work with in the hundredths place and you actually can carry out your subtraction now. So 12 subtract 5 you're left with 7. Move over to the tenths place you have 9 subtract 0 you're left with 9. Your decimal points just get dropped down. We run into a little problem when we hit the ones place again. When you try to do one subtract the three, you can't do it. We're going to have to borrow from the tens column. So we're going to take one, uh, take one of the tens away from the tens column. We'll be left with one of them now. And when you give ten over here to the ones place, now you combine what was there the 1 and the 10 together make a total of 11 to work with for this column. So 11 subtract 3 is 8 and then 1 subtract 0 is 1. Now before you finish up your thoughts you should always check for reasonableness by estimating. The first number was um, 22 and 29 thousandths which is really close to 22 so I use the little approximately squiggle line symbols. And 3 and 5 hundredths is really close to 3. And when you subtract those, you get 19. So 18 and 979 thousandths is approximately 19. And since that works out nicely, I expect my answer is reasonable.